Hello guys, welcome to the 13th tutorial of data visualization using Matplotlib. Today, we'll talk about drawing pie charts using our Matplotlib library in Python. Now, as you can see, Matplotlib is a very uh, beautiful way of visualizing your data. So basically, your, your data rounds up to a total of 100% and then you di distribute the wedges based on the weights of the categories that you are measuring. So now with matplotlib, we'll try to plot this. Let's go ahead to the matplotlib uh, uh, pie chart uh, description. And here we can see different parameters that we can use to plot our data. So let's go ahead and directly jump to our code editor. Now I'm going to plot data of all the views that I have received from different channels, right? And I'll plot this for one day. So let's say I define uh, a variable called views. And uh, wait, before I define a variable called views, let me define a variable called labels. It will help us to create our data as well. So the first would be Facebook. Second would be YouTube. Third, um, I can put LinkedIn. And fourth, I can put Instagram. Now, let's define a variable called views and we can assign the values uh, in the order that we have assigned the labels. So let's say for Facebook uh, on a particular day, I had 357 views. Uh, for YouTube, I had uh, 798 views. It's just random numbers. I'm just putting them just like that. For LinkedIn, I had 343 views. And for Instagram, I had 205 views right now let's go back to our uh, description of matplotlib so here i can say matplotlib uh, pyplot.py and then we have to mention the x and uh, and labels uh, we also have a parameter called labels so let's go ahead and do that so i'll say plt.py and then i'll pass in our views and then i will pass in labels and say labels equal to labels Let's just go ahead and plot this and see what happens. Okay, so here you see uh, Matplotlib has created a pie chart for us. So this basically represents YouTube, this represents Facebook, this re represents Instagram and this represents LinkedIn. And the total should add up to 100% or 1. Now what happens if uh, the sum of all these is less than 1? Let's go ahead and check this out. So here I can say, let's say it's 0.3. Again, it's just random data to check something out. So 0 0.3, 0 0.1, 0 0.1. Now, if we add this, it's less than one. So let's go ahead and run this. Here you can see if your total sum of the, uh, like the total fraction is less than one, Python will leave a wedge, which basically shows that there is no data for this. So it has to be greater than or equal to one. If it is greater than one, Python will consider that as 100% and calculate the proportions accordingly, right? So let's go ahead and play with some other parameters that we can pass in. Uh, actually, uh, let's revert all the data that we had. Great. So now there is a parameter here, as you can see, called explode. Now what happens with explode? Let's just go ahead and check it. So now let's just first go ahead and run the plot again. So this is it. Now. If you want to show the Instagram wedge or any wedge separately because you want to focus on that uh, conversion or that data, we can use the explode parameter. So here in the explode, I can say explode and then in order. So first is Facebook. We don't want that to explode. Then YouTube. We, want, we don't want that to explode. Then LinkedIn. We don't want that to explode. And then for Instagram, I can say let's say we explode 0.2. And then here I pass in explore equal to explore. And then let's go ahead and check what happens. So here you can see the Instagram wedge has now been separated from the pie chart. And now we can see it more distinctly. The, it basically shows uh, that we are trying to focus on Instagram. And this is the percentage that we can see. By the way, we can't see percentage yet. Like what is the percentage of Instagram views? So let's go ahead and fix that first. So here, let's go back to our parameters. Here you can see uh, there are a lot of parameters. There is something called as auto percent. 
so uh, it can take uh, something as a string so let's go ahead and play with this right basically uh, here is an example of uh, pie chart and here you can see they have used uh, uh, we want to show percentage like this so 15.0% 10.0% and they are using auto percent here let's copy paste this and use it in our code so if I do this great now we can see the percentage as well so YouTube is 46.9% of the views Facebook is 21% Instagram is 12% LinkedIn is 20.1% uh, so basically every time you are confused or you don't know what exactly look for please go ahead and check out the matplotlib documentation or for that matter any documentation that you are working on if you're working on uh, basic Python tutorials make sure you Google Google is always going to be your best friend you know okay so now let's go ahead and check some other things for example I can see, see there is a shadow or something here right and if I see this and yes there is a parameter called shadow equal to true let's go ahead and use this in our code as well uh, we can see the effect <clears throat> right so now we uh, our pie chart also has got shadow um, I don't think it looks that good uh, now but it's a feature you know you can use it if you want you may not use it uh, it all depends on you great now uh, let's go back uh, if, uh, let's see if there is something else okay now uh, I'm gonna talk to you about creating a donut we can also create a donut uh, uh, in our pie chart uh, plot that is by using this wedge properties which is a dictionary so let's go ahead and use this so here I'm gonna go to the next line I say wedge properties and then I'm gonna say uh, inside it I'm gonna pass in uh, width equal to 3 uh, this is line width uh, I can say uh, let's go ahead and try width equal to 3 uh, not 3.3 .3. so if I run this now oh nice so basically the total width uh, you have to give it as proportion so the total uh, if you give it as 1 then uh, Python will uh, you will get the plot as complete pie chart I think yes it's a complete pie chart but if you reduce the width you only want 30% of the width then Python uh, is going to return you a graph which only has 30% of the width basically from the end so basically this is how you also create a donut, a donut type of pie chart so guys I would really suggest going ahead and playing with this and playing with other parameters that I might have skipped out so thank you guys I will see you in the next tutorial